RM, quick shout out to everybody that watches these videos later on. We do appreciate you sharing these videos all over. Uh, you guys been doing that, and not only on this video, all the videos. So, like I said, get those videos out there, share them. It's only gonna get them a lot, uh, a lot stronger, and more and more requests from people like you on all other stocks that you like us to take a look at. Currently traded at zero zero eight eight. Uh, you might be asking what the heck's going on here, you know, whatever the case might be. Let's take a look at the 30th right here. I said watch for a bounce off the 20-day simple moving average. You, you guys got a little bit of a bounce here, not as strong as I would have liked to see, but you still got it uh, on the 18th. Uh, back here, okay, back here I said on hold, really overbought. Uh, and out, outside the RSI, I think it's going to pull back, and it did. Uh, let's take a look at the last time we looked at it, which is going to be on the 1st of February right here. Uh, I said, on watch for buying to continue and break the 20-day simple moving average. Well, the case is, is that when we looked at this right here, at that red line, you did break that 20-day simple moving average, and you did make your way up there uh, as we looked at. But as many of you guys know, we look at these stocks early in the day uh really random random times so things change throughout the trading day i mean right now you guys are red by the end of today you could be up 100 percent. just saying i'm just saying as an example uh but right now you guys are at a support level um let's watch for this level to hold in my opinion um a perfect day uh would be for you to close around this area uh or actually up a little bit higher around the 0094 area uh, would probably be a good close, in my opinion. If you guys uh, actually, yeah, 0095. If you guys could, you could be uh, setting up for a bounce off of that 20 and 10 day again. Uh, so let's get to keep an eye on that. If that doesn't hold, you could make your way down to the 30 day simple moving average. Um, but it really comes down to the buying pressure and volume. Uh, the volume today is pretty, climbing pretty high compared to what you've seen for the last week and a half. Uh, the reason being is that it's still early in the day, and I can tell by the volume bars. You guys are already seeing a lot of volume coming into this one. Uh, and that is all I'm going to have to add for this. Uh, Joe, could you give us any uh, company updates? What's going on? Yeah, there was a press release on it today. It's Via Derma Incorporated targets online sales, wound care centers, and distribution companies for its Bible Slim product launch. The first Bible Slim order set for Q2 2017. Also, on chromycosis clinical studies show significant results so uh, if you want to pull that up i'll just uh, read the first paragraph over here um bioderma incorporated a specialty pharmaceutical company devoted to bringing new products to market recently announced today that they are placing the first order from their product manufacturer for a rollout of its fda registered drug vibolicillin topical antibiotic the company expects sales for 2017 to be around 5,000 or 500,000 units and has completed financing to produce the orders. The rollout in California is expected to start with approximately 10,000 units being distributed online through an online network of affiliates. The products are anticipated to sell for approximately $125 per 5 ml bottle with a wholesale price to be established for the clinical and wound care centers. So I'll just read this statement from the CEO. I believe these orders will give us a significant increase in revenues for 2017. Viaderma has had clinical success in a very short time frame, said CEO Dr. Christopher Octico. We are excited to see our research being so well received in so many countries. This opens the door for many new products using FDA approved drugs along with our proprietary transdermal delivery system. Uh, Via Derma also well, it has also completed an initial clinical study of a propri proprietary medication for ansiochromosis, uh, I don't even, toenail fungus, that's basically what it is. Um, and the results were very encouraging with an approximate 80% success rate, said Dr. Atiko. So uh, that ansiochromosis affects approximately 5% of the world population. One of the more popular medications on the market has a 17% success rate and can cost as much as $500 per 4F, uh, 4FML, well, 4ML bottle. Americans currently spend about $1.26 billion annually on oral and topical prescriptions for nail fungus, according to the IMS Health, a health care information company. 
The industry analysts and executives estimate that more effective treatments could expand the market to as much as three billion annually. So that's pretty good right there. He's basically talking about the clinical. I'll keep going there. We are also in the clinical testing stages of an anti-aging topical solution, a topical pain medication, a topical for male pattern baldness, and a topical designed to boost male libido. The market for our product, many products, is very promising. We are enthusiastic about the results we have achieved to date in terms of the ansodotal feedback we have received from the medical community, said Dr. Achico. So that's not bad. I mean, they, they said that they had a 80% rate, you know, an 80% success rate with this, uh, the, their, their initial testing for that thing. All right, VDRM, again, all this information you can find over here on investorshangout.com, uh, company profile, time and sales, all those useful tools that you might need, recent news, filings, financials, over here on investorshangout.com, completely free. Most sites charge you for it. We keep everything completely free. Investorshangout.com forward slash live for the live stream.